you doing out there first things first my name is Kenneth Bird I'm the creator of Luminous 4k screen paint using ambient light rejection technology in times 4 5 and 7 uh, today we're going to be doing a very interesting demonstration I'm doing a lot more demonstrations on showing you why a screen does not have to be ambient light rejection in order for it to fail you now keep in mind a lot of our customers like being out in the fully lit environments our screens have ambient light re rejection technology but also too they look fantastic with the lights out for those who are going to be using it for a dedicated theater or you're just going to have your place dark for the sake of just having the dark well I'm going to show you where you are failing your projector doesn't make a difference if you go out there and say well my projector has a 10,000 to 1 or 20,000 to 1 contrast you're not seeing it you're not getting it and you're not seeing it and this is a wake-up call for those of you who have churches and have businesses like I said you've seen our technology thriving outside if a screen can thrive outside with no problem inside is a cakewalk so that just lets you know right there but this is toward the people who have those dedicated home theater setups who really think that they're getting the most from their projector when you are really not. And I see these pictures, I see these demonstrations on these high-end uh, setups, and every time I look at it, I go, wow, it's a shame. Beautiful projector, poor, poor screen. All right, so we'll show a couple of the screens right here that we're going to be doing demonstrations when it comes to contrast. We have a DMP Supernova over here. Uh, we have the Dark Star 9 right here, so you can see for yourself. Uh, we have a Gray Cinema 5D. We're going to get a sample sheet of that one because that's pretty badly beat up, but it still works. Um, we have, so my stuff doesn't fall off the table, be nice. We have by Seymour AV, a AV uh, 1.2, which is actually one of the darker screens. Um, we have a MB, which is a matinee black by Seymour AV and some other screens up here. Now when it comes to screen paints, uh, keep in mind this is not being strictly done for malicious purposes like that. It's just to show you that with all the others. We actually ordered three more of the screen paints and some screen paints off Amazon uh, to show you that with these screens you're just not getting true contrast. Uh, we already know what ambient light is going to do to these screens on the door. If I take this outside and I do an ambient light projection uh, demonstration on any one of these screens outside it's going to fail miserably and I mean really really miserably so we know that automatically from the door that some of these may not be ambient light rejection but even if a screen is not a non ambient light rejection you still are going to get a failing picture if the screen can't produce good contrast without contrast contrast is everything and I can't explain that enough it is everything but some people think if you turn out the lights and you got good contrast on your projector you'll be able to make up for you. I'm going to show you, but make up for it. I'm going to show you where you did wrong. All right, so let's come over here. I'm going to turn just this light on right now. And we're going to stand in front of the projector. I'm going to show you that we have a white screen here. We have a Supreme 7, our black screen. And over here we have bare silver screen. Now keep in mind, bare silver screen is very light. It's just mixed with a little black paint. For those of you who are saying, well, that's not fair because you know you got a black screen. Those of you who know you got a black screen, of course, it's going to produce better contrast. Well, over here we have everyday black paint, but in the middle, this is a Supreme 7. Just to show you, and we're going to do this on white levels, just to show you that our black screens produce very high white levels. And also, too, I'm going to say it again, keep in mind that when you're dealing with an all-white screen, an all-white screen will always have higher white levels than any other screen. It's white. It's just basic, basic common sense. It's a white screen, where a black screen is going to produce high contrast. Now, a gray screen is just pretty much going to be able to, and my thing falling off here, I coated this today with the Supreme 7. Hopefully it stays in place nice. But... A, um, now, yeah, this is actually coded with Supreme 7 because I don't want to mess my screen up. I still have demonstrations to do on this one. A gray screen will have the ability to be able to produce uh, better contrast. It's a tad bit of con better contrast depending on how dark gray the screen is. But when it comes to uh, the, um, the white levels, the white levels are going to be between fair, but they're not going to be equal to a white screen. Never. A white screen will always have higher white levels. Always. No matter what. All right, so uh, let's begin. We'll take out the lights here. And of course, we got to take out the lights here. Let's demonstration, make sure everything is nice and still down. So we got everything falling off the screen. All right, and let's begin. And as you can see already, when I walk away, this is what you're getting. If you have a light gray screen or white gray screen, you cannot pick up true contrast. Contrast is just not 
going to pop on your screen. And as I said before, contrast is everything. Contrast it makes the difference of whether you're going to have true outer space. Um, like if you're watching Star Wars, that deep black outer space, you can't pick that up. You're not going to be able to see it. What you're going to get is an ashy version of a gray. That's what you're getting. And that's what you're seeing right here in the demonstration. Now my projector is 3700 lumens. It is a 720p NEC. The projector is um, uh, W. Sorry, XGA. It's an XGA projector, and it has a 600 or 800 to one contrast somewhere in there. Now it goes to show you that even with a projector of a 600 or 800 to one contrast. I don't have to spend a lot of money for that particular part. They're not giving that away for free. They're not saying, hey, we're going to give you like 1,200 to 1 or 12,000 to 1 for free. They're not giving you that for free. Or 12,000, 20,000, well, not 1,200. We're not giving you that for free. You're going to pay for that option in there. You're definitely going to pay for it. So I can go in and get a projector that has a 600 or 800 to 1 contrast, and I can still achieve true black contrast where if I got a projector at 12,000 to 1 I still wouldn't be able to pick it up now I'll come down here later on the day I'll bring down my um, NEC no sorry my the uh, ViewSonic the ViewSonic has a 12,000 to 1 and I'll show you even with the lights out it doesn't make a difference you will never ever see it look at this You see right there at the bottom, right there at the very bottom, even the OLED, 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 the OLED symbol doesn't even, the logo, it's supposed to be in all black. This is supposed to be in all black, the background's in all black. And you have some people that claim, hey, my paint's not ambient light rejection. That doesn't mean anything. You can't pick up contrast. Because if I turn on all the lights in this environment, this is going to fade. It's going to wash up. Our screen will still stay intact. Because our screens are ambient light projection. It is black technology and it produces high white levels. And guess what? We can take them outside. This is a huge wake-up call for those of you who own dedicated theater setups and you think because you have a very expensive projector, you have a very high... I've seen people on ABS form, so I'm like, well, yeah, my contrast level is this and my contrast level my projector is that. And when I go to check out their setup, they have a gray or either white screen. I'm like, what's the point? They just pretty much just, just missed the entire... Um, um, they just missed it. They just missed the entire meaning of having a true home theater setup. Now, if our black screens produce such a low white level, that means, and when it comes to bright colors, it would be dark and it would be dirty. Now, if you're curious to see this demonstration, I will post a link at the bottom so you can see it for yourself. As you can see that the demonstration, the background is designed to be black. This is an OLED demonstration. The dem of course, the background is going to be black. So you can try it for yourself. Watch how the fish pops the minute it hits the black screen. Look how deeper and richer the color gets. 
Now just in case if my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology in times 4 and 5, showing you even in the dark, if you don't have contrast, your screen is failing, your projector is failing, your home theater setup is failing. I'll put on some bright, beautiful colors. Watch this. Show how the white levels our technology is. Now look how blue the water looks here. It looks faded here. It looks faded here. Look at the reds. Faded here. Faded there. See when you're using a white screen, see how much light is reflecting off your screen? Look at all that white light reflecting off your screen. The gray screen's done a little better, but you're still losing contrast. Now those of you who've been asking me over and over and over again, do demonstrations with the lights out, well here you go. And you're not going to like the results. You're going to see exactly what you are getting from your screen. Now keep in mind, you can't see this because your screen is not sitting next to true black technology. You think you're seeing a black screen. You're not. You're seeing a gray screen. You're not getting contrast. See that right there? Go to turn on any light in the environment, just a little bit. That's what you would get. Let's do one of my personal favorites. You know what I'm going for. Starfield. Lights on. Lights off. At 3700 lumens, my projector sits back 12 feet, 4 inches from the screen. And it only has a 600, between 600 and 800, one, I gotta figure which one it is, contrast. That's it. And it's able to pull up, it's able to allow the projector to pull up black contrast. Where this screen, and this screen can't pull it up. This is why I state contrast is everything. But if my screen wasn't there, let's see, let's just do it this way. If I were to block this part of the screen on the bare silver screen, you would think, I think I'm gonna block part of this. So you can't see it. I'm gonna take part of that off. You can't see it. I'm gonna to try to move over a little bit more and just get away from that my black screen altogether. And just bring something bring the camera this way. There we go. So if you were looking at the screen in your home theater setup, and you were using bare silver screen or a gray screen mix, you think you were getting black by looking at that, right? But you're not. Because that's black. 
And if you have a wide screen with the lights out, put the camera over, you think you are getting true black. But you're not, you're getting gray. Because that's the color of black when it comes to outer space. No matter where you turn, you cannot pick it up. Alright, gotta go. Thank you for your time. God bless.